They're helping you give your home a spring refresh without a whole lot of effort or money, really. You may not know it, but those decorative pillows on your couch, chairs, and even your bed could be making your home look outdated and out of style. So we've asked designer Lauren Oviet to share the pillow pattern sure to keep your space looking current and on trend. It's great to see you, my friend. Thank you, you too. I'm a little nervous here because you're not only pointing us in the direction of some trendy fresh patterns, you're also gently, politely, so graciously <gasps> suggesting we maybe give some the Yes, boots. I tell some of my clients like, yes, I know you like that. This is the old you. This is the new you. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna kind of circle around today is I want everyone to have what they love, but with a little bit of guidance along the way, I think you could really make your home a beautiful, current, on-trend space. Well, here's what I love about your focus today, in addition with an out with the old, in with the new mm -hmm. approach. Pillows, I think, are every woman's go-to accessory when we want a fresh feel in our home. They're affordable, they're really easy to interchange. So mm -hmm. pillows, we're focusing on pillows. Absolutely, it's the easiest way to inject pattern and color and instant oomph and softness to your space. Okay, what's the first pattern we're saying bye bye okay, to? So we are gonna go over to the high contrast idea of, I like geometric, I want high contrast, but okay, you might be shopping for that pillow and you come up with this on the top, this kind of gray one on so top. So first, this is the look we're going for. Oh, okay, great. So this is a room I designed last year. It's gorgeous. High contrast, beautiful, impactful fabrics. This client didn't really love color. She wanted something sophisticated, maybe a little bit of a nod to the masculine, but how gorgeous did this turn out? Amazing. And what we did was we went with the high low, a little bit of okay. geometric, something really lovely and pretty. Okay, so now in studio, you're directing mm -hmm. our attention to this. This is the goodbye. This is the goodbye. Because why? Okay, so up close it's fine, but from far away, it just becomes a little lost and a little muddy. It's geometric, it's got a little bit of gold, but it's just missing the mark. It blends. Yes. Okay. So what we want to go for is something that has more of high contrast. So the blacks and the whites, mm. kind of this interesting, almost Navajo sort of idea. Mm -hmm. Updated embroidery with this pillow that's down below that's black, white, and gray. That kind of nubby, new texture, which is so on trend and so beautiful. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that, same idea, just a bolder effect. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got some pictures setting up this next design look, if this is what you're after. Let's pop those pictures onto the screen. This is someone who wants that, those blue blue tones in yeah, their home. Yeah, so you know, five, 10 years ago, everyone's doing this Robin's Egg blue, but what's really on trend right now is the blue and white. Cobalt, indigo, chambray, these really beautiful, and they're perfect for this time of year too. So what we're saying is let go of this sort of Robin's Egg, aqua, Teal. and it's a little heavy. You know, again, it's just not really giving us the pop and the impact that we want. This was it about five years ago. I know. It's okay to say goodbye, because it's just a pillow. Okay, we are not okay. upsetting the apple cart We're here. not attached, should I pull it? <laughs> pull it. Should I pull Let's it? Pull okay. It. And we're just gonna set this blue and white here. This actually is beautiful. It's a Gorgeous. Ralph Lauren. It's a sunbrella, so it can be bleached. I mean, there's so many capabilities now with blues, but to me, this just says, bright, fresh, happy, and totally on trend. All right, let's pop up the next picture set to set the mood. Mm -hmm. We're looking at this beautiful space. What's the design goal here? Okay, so still, like, this is for that animal lover. Everyone knows someone who loves leopard prints or zebras or something. I but love a good leopard. I know, it's classic. I mean, it's kind of like a neutral. We talk about that in decorating. Right. This is a room that I did a few years ago, and it has that really pretty soft impact without saying um, I have, like, some kind of unhealthy habit or addiction to <laughs> leopard, right? I so have an animal yeah, on my just, sofa. It's just the pillow. It's a really soft neutral. Um, I actually have this pillow in studio here today. It's pretty. The same exact thing, but it is a take on leopard that is a cut velvet. Mm. And so you're saying, yes, I am kind of, I love that idea and I like animal, but we don't necessarily want to go for uh, this, which I don't even know. I, I don't got something going on. Let's <laughs> go back to where it came from, but we're gonna take this one away because- Okay, we're pulling it. You like animal, you don't need a leopard on your pillow in metallic you foil. You don't need the animal. No, you don't. So <laughs> I'm showing you just a couple options here, but both a really nice take on that animal print. Neutrals, but updated. So this one has some metallic tones on it. Yeah. This one against the cut velvet. Yeah. Just really fun. All right, for someone out there who's saying, Lauren, it's spring, and I love mm -hmm. those spring vibes in my yeah. home. You have an inspiration picture that will help yes. set the mood for this next yes. swap out. What are we I love this family room. This couple just, they wanted something timeless and beautiful. We ended up injecting this really beautiful, bright spring color Gorgeous. with an eclectic mix of patterns. So what I like to do with my clients is start with a jumping off pattern, which is the one you see in front. And that set the tone for the whole palette of color for the rest of the pillows. So that green and that blue. And then we went for a solid to kind of punch up the idea of blue. So what is this replacing? Okay, so this 
this pillow is fine, right? It's fine. It is. But it's not exciting. It maybe looks like what came with the sofa that you bought at the department store or wherever you were shopping. So yes, we like color. This is not doing it for me. So we're going to take this away. Okay, bye-bye. And instead, we're going to look for something that really has those true, beautiful colors that you're looking for. So clear tones. And anytime you can find a little bit of white, maybe it's the background of the entire pillow with that print. Anytime you can get a little bit of white around, it's really going to give more impact and more brightness to that space because you're eliminating that sort of beige neutral tone. So what I'm hearing you say in this little topic set mm -hmm. is ditch the pillows that come with your yes. couch that come with your chair yes. and you want pillows that punch. You've said that a couple times. Mm -hmm. You want pillows that really pop off your, your accessory or your Absolutely, furniture. Absolutely, because we're all shopping for neutrals these days, uh -huh. whether it's dark neutrals or light. And so anytime you can find something that has a print on white, it's going to give you that instant impact. Love it. We've got one more picture set from your yes. interior design file. Yes. And this you say, the average eye might not pick up on the design detail at play, but there's one yes. move with these pillows that you say can really have an impact in any space. Yes, okay, less is more and bigger is better. So this was a bedroom I did last year. It was a king size bed, which is great. And oftentimes we do, we want that designer look of stacking pillows. Instead of doing those three big Euro pillows on the back, which uh -huh. a traditional king will call for, you need those three 26 inch squares. Uh -huh. We went for two. So this is an interesting size. So those two white pillows you're seeing on the back. They've gotta be huge. It's a 26 by 36. So it's a king size pillow, okay. only taller. Wow. And they call it a King Euro, and it's my specialty. <laughs> I love it. It's my favorite thing to do. So we have those in studio, too. There's nothing wrong with your traditional Euro. It's 26 square. Two goes on a queen just fine, but on a king, it's that third pillow in the bed that makes it that much harder to make. Right. So this is the King Euro. And for me, really beautiful. Again, not really committing to a certain style or color, but traditional with the white matte lisse and this beautiful fretwork tape. Is that size readily available? Is it easy to find? I haven't seen pillows of no, that No, you have to call someone. You gotta call your friend Lauren, <laughs> yeah. who is a specialty at Euro. They're custom. What are they called? Yeah, it's called the King the Euro. King Euro, okay, yes. all right. But to me, just turns a bed from good to great. Awesome. This was awesome yeah. to learn along what, yeah. what we can gently say goodbye to. It served us well and the patterns we can bring in for that home refresh. If people want advice or help, how can they get in touch mm -hmm. with you? So I have a great new website, laurenoviet.com, but I'm always on Instagram kind of posting what I'm finding that day and what I'm doing. And so that's a fun way for me to connect with the viewers. For me, it's fun just to track along some of your design <laughs> projects and Thank hopefully you. pick up a thing or two as we have today. Thank you so Thank much. You.